Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. I will be showing you how to make your own YouTube channel art. And so let's begin. First, you're going to need Photoshop. That's the first thing. First, go to File, go to New, and then since mine's already there, you just type whatever you want and I'll put Test. And then Width is going to be, it's going to be in pixels. Width would be. 2120 and then height is 350. You just click OK and you add it. Let's see it load. See, and this screen will pop up. And then I usually go to. What's this called? Pop up. Come on. Well, it's right under. Uh, it's right beside the erase button. And I usually pick two colors that are like my pretty colors. You can pick any colors you want. I'm going to pick this color with. The gray, maybe I don't know. And I usually take this, and it like you can pull down on it right here, and it makes it two different colors. I usually do that with my channel art, or you can go sideways, and it does this, or you can go this way and it does that, or you can go up even, and it does that. I'm gonna stick with down because I think that's pretty. So after that, you want to get this thing. It's called Mine Amateur. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it opens this up. And first, you have to go to what's it called? First, you go to background. Let me open this first. Go to background, and you go to sky color. I usually pick like a color that's not the same color as my like Minecraft skin. Cause then you'll just blur it in. Since my Minecraft, Minecraft skin is red, I'm gonna go with a blue or a light blue. Me, yeah, I'll go with a blue. I'll go with blue. This guy's blue. And then you go down here. Now, um, yeah, you go right here and click. You unclick show ground, and it doesn't show the ground. Okay. First, you have to go to. If you don't have a Minecraft skin, you can go to Minecraft skins or whatever. I will leave that in the description and it's I'll just close that for now. I'll leave it in the description. And then then you have to go to add. Once you go to add, you go to add character. See, and then your character pops up. If you don't like this dark blue in the background right here, I usually just move the sun and make it dark. Or if it doesn't go away, I just go to show custom background and it just makes it dark blue. So here's our Steve, but I'm not going to be using Steve. Okay. After that, you go and you click. You click on where it says human and then skin. This is default. I'm going to click on, no, I'm going to click on browse. And it's going to pull up to all my stuff. And I'm going to click on where I have my Minecraft skin. And I'm going to, it's going to pop up. This is my Marceline. I use her for almost everything because I think she's really awesome. I love Adventure Craft, or Adventure Time. Sorry. Okay, after that, you're going to click on one it's some, somewhere down here. And then this little yellow thing, body parts, going to pop up. You can click on each arm and go to rotation. And the arm moves. See? She moves. I usually go on bending, and it bends her arm too. Like, you can just change the style how you ever want it. See, she's waving. I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna make it go higher, and then her head. I'm gonna make it tilt a little. Me go down. I'll go up. She's gonna tilt like she's waving. See, hi. And then turn it a little bit. I don't really mess with the head that much. The arm. I'm gonna make this arm bend, and then she's gonna be just like she's gonna sit right here. See, it's easy. Just mess around with all these styles. I'm gonna go back, and then no, I'm not gonna tilt it that way. Maybe go this way? Does that look good? I think it does. Okay, then this is for the leg. And you just kick it out or do whatever you want. I usually kick it out and like turn it a little bit. Make it look like it's she's running or something or standing. I don't know, she looks cool to me. And then this next leg, I'm gonna do some I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Be weird with this. Make it all weird. See? Now she's moving. I'm gonna go back to the arm. Make it like, there. Now she looks like she's doing the Gundam stuff. <laughs> After that, you have your character. 
and you can also make them like hold weapons you just go to add and you go to item and you can click on any item you want I'm gonna just click on a stone what I want I'm going to make her hold, let's make her hold some chicken. She's going to hold some chicken. Okay, you have to click on this under her, and then the chicken will appear. You have to go to position to move it, like, to move it, and then you just hold it up and bring it out. Just do all this stuff. It's pretty easy. You can change the cell, the size of it, because I don't think it's a chicken. It's that big. No, it might be that big. Make sure you always click on all of them so you can change. Just drag the thing where you want it, like the Y. Now she's holding the chicken. <laughs> this looks kind of funny, but it's she's just holding chicken. You click OK when you're done, and then usually I just click here. I keep it, but I you, I usually go to import as a screenshot. It's the one, two, three, four, five. the sixth one over. I click import as screenshot. It, and I just pick, I'm going to say something like test. I'm just going to change that. Just keep it and send it to my documents. And it usually loads and then it pops up as a picture. And once I get done with that, I just click out because it's already saved. I'll close this for now. And I go back to this. And how I get the picture of Marceline on here is I go to File, Open. And then I go to, let's see where I put it. I put it in, it's going to be in my mine amateur things. So let's just find where my Marceline went. And here she is. I click it and I open it. And then I go to the magic wand tool. And when I pop it up, I just click the whole thing. I click CTRL and then I click X because it deletes it. And there, she's all, um, what's it called? She's rendered. And then, after that, I go here, no, I don't go here, I go to this image thing, and I just highlight her, and then I click CTRL and copy, and it copies it. And then I go here, and I go to CTRL and D, and it pastes it, and there she is, she's right there. And then usually I click on this to move her around, and everything, it's called, it doesn't ever show me what it's called, but that's where Marceline is, and she's holding her chicken. And after that, you can just go to like text and just put whatever you like. I'm going to use the font. What font am I going to use? I'm going to use the Minecraft font. I have, I'll leave the, I'll leave something in the description about where to get fonts. I'm going to use the bamboozle one just for this. Okay, I'm going to put Atlanta Games. Change, I got to change the color. Let's go here and we get, let me get, should I make it white or black? Which one do you like? I'm going to go with black. It stands out one. And then make the size. Let's see how big I want this. It doesn't go higher than 72, so you got to put your own size in there. I'm going to put like 120. Did you delete it? Yeah, I did. And, nope, no, no, no. What is it doing? It's not doing what I want it to do. I have to go back up. Give me one second. Go back to Bamboozle. Here. That's 72 again. I didn't have it, I had it on something else. Really. And that's really long, so I'm gonna make it that up. There we go. Once that's done, you just click off of it, you click on it, and you can move it anywhere you want. And I just put my name on it for right now, so it's just there. But after that, you can add, I usually go to like this little octagon. I think that's an octagon or pentagon, something like that. And you can like make little little designs with this. And it like changes colors and then you can like add like smaller areas and like, make it big like this. And like little ones like shows like shows like a style. I usually do that sometimes, but you can make sure you get it into the gray if you're not using a darker color or it won't show it won't show up great. See like that one's really close to that, but it still looks good. I think it looks good. So I'm going to make one more and then we'll go back to the After that, you want to go, wait, after that, I'm going to get off this. Kevin, go back, delete that, I don't want that, okay. See, this is my thing. And then usually I go to image, I go to canvas size, 
And you want to change this to percent, and then the size you go it's 2120, 2120, and I think it's 1192. 1192. I think that's about right. And then wait, what happened? Hang on one second. I'm doing canvas size. Why is it doing this? Oh, image canvas size. I think it, it wasn't on. No, it's oh, we gotta go pixels. I'm stupid. Oh, dummy. me. Okay, eleven. Eleven ninety-two. Now it should work. And this shows up. Usually, most of the time, I just click on this again, and I just click. Once it goes on there. Okay. I click on this thing that we clicked on before. Why is it not doing it? Oh, maybe I gotta highlight. Okay. Hang on a second. I gotta go down to this layer. Okay. Now it should work. And I just click down again, and it just covers the whole background and makes it look like this. So now your TV will see all the other colors on it. And it'll have gray and black and your colors and whatever. But after that, you just go to, you go to, what's it called? You go to save as. And you just name it, name what you want it to be. Test, I'm going to name it test YouTube. And so that's what it is. And I usually go to this one, the JPEG. It's just like adding it to your pictures. Or mine, it adds to my where my I got my Marceline at first. Where all my other things are. So I just save it. And once it's just saved, you just save it. It's that easy. And then you go to internet and you go to YouTube. Uh, this is my channel. Whew. Let's just go and hang out. Okay, this is mine. And I'm just going to go show you how to do it. You go here. You go to add edit channel art. Once it loads, and then you click select from a photo from your computer. And once that happens, you go find where your doc your document is. I go here. And let me see what's up. And here it is. I'm not gonna save it because you know it's yeah. So see, it shows all this just crop. I'm just gonna click it. I'll change it later. Because I don't think my character wants to be holding a piece of chicken. <laughs> and after it is loaded and it saves. Sorry, my computer's slow. It saves. It should pop up here. Saving. And there you go. That's how you make your channel art. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you like this video, leave a like. If you loved it, leave a favorite. It just depends on you. Leave me comments and tell me anything I can improve or anything I did wrong. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.